Hello. Sige, comment mo para makapansin ko ninyo. Good morning, Tanan. Hello. Seven na, so far. Good morning, everyone. Nag-live show sa ta this time. Kinsay mo tanaw o live show. Okay. Good morning, Easy. I see. So, ano magpagbasa na? Easy, Angelica, Rhea. Good morning. Puro chicks. Junabel, mga laki. Ayun mo pangapil. Who else? How is my audio so far? Onya, ang display, kumusta? Is it readable? Please comment. If the start with audio lang sa ta audio. How is my audio? Ako ng ikwintas ang headset. I look stupid. I know. Pero this way daw mas do lang mic sa ako ang simod. So you can hear everything, including sa pag kanaganing imagina ng balhibo si nyo ilong onya iniginhawa ni nyo mo action ug kapalid. Ing anak siya mo tingog madunggan siguro na ninyo. John Novel, who else? Ah, si James, si Chloe, si Renz. Good morning, tanan. Si Rosnell, si Maria Riza. Tasa ng pangano si Glenn, si Sean Kyle, si Robilyn, si Giovanni, si si Cecil, si Julina, si Justine. Good, sir. Claro ra ang tingog. Okay, that's good. Easy. Generay, trying tanda mo so far. Joseph, Brian, Lester. Ah, kisa pa. Clint, John or client? May basa na sa na imo ang pangandong. Robilyn, Jonavel, okay ra imong audio, sir. Madungo gra. Okay, how about si Ninia, Rika? Good morning, Giovanni. How about ang display sa screen? Readable pa ba? Is it readable? Judian, good morning. Junali. How about ang display sa screen? Please ug tingog. Okay, if not, I may need to reduce my resolution para makita ninyo ug tarong. Kani siguro. Ah, how about that? Kani, klaro ra mabasa ra gani ha. Okay. Kani, I would just like to show you sa inyo hang kalaki ba nga magahi mo ulo. Okay. These are your outputs so far ang ipang submit ninyo. Okay. So you can read that one. Di ba? Mabasa ra po. Okay. Tanawa na ang inyo hang mga pangano. Kani, kani si Dilima. Ako rin yung retype kay, I don't know, sa ito yung file name. Especially the ones that are sharing their outputs via WPS, something. So again ha, as much as possible, i-email ninyo ang file itself, okay? Instead of sharing me a file that is available online. So make sure you save us a copy of that particular file. Ingon si Justin, si Sean. Okay ra ko na mabasa ra. Ingon si Angelica, mabasa ra. Okay, Jerome, good morning. Okay na, sige. Uman na ta sa pleasantries. 32 na ta. Ayaw na ng good morning, good morning ha. Diretso na lang o comment sa question nga akong gerace. Or if you have a question, please comment a question. Okay? Again, first things first. Um, remember last time I've been telling you, i-email raman ninyo ang outputs, okay? When you email the output, na ay uban nga mo email o link instead, okay? Mas maayo unta ang output itself kay dugay mang guna siya sa ako nga end. So, if I just download a file, example, 
Uh, ako ipakita ninyo ni Haka Diot lang. This one. Mabasa ako no. Okay, let me ako ibalik ang akong solution. Okay, readable ra magha to kaganiha. Ako man ni siyang giikuan. Ibalik na po ani. Oh. Okay. Okay, we'll do it this way. So, um, where's my... Look, oh, tanawa niyo. Oh. Here's an example. Desiree unto something, walay subject. Diba? It's easy to see kung kang kinsa, like BSA4 underscore AE1 underscore output 4. Olana Saldona. It's easy. Diba? Here's another one. Um, Naka-enclose in parenthesis. BSA 2A, AGCC 2. Okay, this is following instruction. Pero dapat, ing ani yung ta. It should look something like this. Yeah, with you from WPS office. I'll try to open this one ha, and show to you. Good say dagway ani. So that's one click. First click. Okay, Rama. Download lang ako ni Shadritsho. That's the second click. Okay. Ang uban is kanira mo isend wala ni siya nga file. So I have to click this one again. That's another click. So mo open pa ang file or oh, and so on. So dugay ka ayo so sabta po din town ko ninyo, okay? I'm just trying to make my routine a little bit easier. Okay? And then tanawa going back. Mo ni atong display. Okay? Oh, dia pa o sa Fourth year, wala po ding sunod. BSA 2B, nga na, oh, wala na sections gani ang uban. Okay? So, ang inyong outputs so far, na inyo hang i-share na ko, okay, is, no, where is that? It's a ha. Uh, this one. Okay, tanawa na inyo ang mga output. Ug, kini siya. Tagantong perfect example. These are people nga wala na napatuo sa instructions. Tanawa. As is. Huna-huna akong kinabuhi. Pati lisura na, right? Na ay last name. First name, last name. Pariharig it exactly the, the same. BSA3, BSA3. Wala usba ang file name nga akong gihatag Say example, there are how many how many sections in you? I think there are three. So this should be written as BSA three A, B or C, diba? Then A G C C three one two two. Then this should be your last name. This should be your first name. Okay. If I may show you an example. Ah. Uh, okay. Last name, first name. That is the work of. Okay, that's the work of J. Seal Petalcorin. Okay? The same file name, ikaduha, kine, number two na. This is now the work of Yanni Irigiano. Okay? See? Now, say may tabo ni sir. Kine, the same file name Gapon. You can see that one, ha? Three na. It's, oh, kaduha. So, kaduha ni nag-email si Yanni na ko. See? Pero in fairness, ko pa kay si Yanni. So, example lang na. Okay? Here's another one. Number four na. Okay? Let's see kung kinsa na na. Kang Jennifer na pod. Okay? Uh, another one, number five. That's Renswil. Narba chicks ka uban. Alemania. Okay. Ang kato ni mga tao nga wala nag follow instruction ha. Dai, kinao na hanin sa bito. Si uh, Ramos Brian. Okay. Wala gihapon nagsunod. Here's another one, number six. 
that's genre antipuesto. Okay, look, it's genre antipuesto. So, what I'm trying to say, please make my life a little easier. So, I edit in town in inyo. So, for example, kini kining kanilang asa to si Renz. Kani man siguro to kang dudong Renz. Okay, there are Renz will Alemania BSA 3C. Okay? So, on sa how many pag so what this should be i edit na ninyo BSA 3C. Butang in town og si AGCC 3122 output 1. This is Ali Mania and then And that is Renswil. It should look something like that, guys. Ha? Dia pa si Rika. Duha-duha, o. Diba? So, ang kinabuhi na karon, it's a little bit complicated because of people that are not following instructions. Okay? Again, o nag-follow pa mo tanan o instructions, what will happen is, itapuko ni tanan BSA 3A. Tanawa, o. BSA 3A, 3A, 3A. 3B na diha. 3 na lang. BSA 3. Output. Oh, so, tanan untang 3A. Magtapok unta na siya tanan. Sunod, magtapok punta na. Output 1. Output 1. Output 1. Output 1. Then, usa pa ang inyohang mga last name, first name. Magsunod-sunod. So, what will happen is, sa akong inbox or sa akong ang folder, there are 35 of you. What will happen sa akong for, folder, if I sort it, by the name kana akong i-click okay i should see everything nga smooth na kayo dili na samok it's okay by the way if you submit pdf okay ra na wala na siya problema na ko okay ra so dili na unta ko mag problema og maayo just like this time of Fatima anong na dublin ni og download ni sir kay kaduha pud ni gi-email na ko so ang akong ginabuhat is like I, when I open my email, download, 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 download na nan. So, kung katulong mo mag-email na ko, three times na ko ma-download ang inyo hang file. Okay? So, please follow instructions para dili mo sa mot o kalabad ang ulo ni sir. Nagkasinabot ha? Guys? Okay? Tingog sa comments kung nagkasinabot ba ta regarding the instructions. I'm waiting for your comments. At anawa also. It's a little bit complicated na inigtanaw na ko din he. So, naguna na ang kang easy. Output 02 po yung naguna. Supposed to be dili unta. Output 02 maguna. May confirm na si Fatima. Okay, si Ray Capod. Oh. So, tabangi ko ninyo ha. This way, medyo sayon-sayon na Angelica o oh. Okay, kapara dili na kayo taon magsakit akong lughan, kapoy, biya kay basaan eh. Ganahan mo din ako basahon, kay gipulan ako tanaw sa inyo hang mga papel. Okay, so please follow instructions ha, para dili. Kaning all caps, just like this one, kang Sean, Kyle, ah, okay ra po na, dili ko magproblema na. Okay, ang importante, basta ang inyo hang course and year, dayon ang subject, then output number, then last name, and then first name or names. Okay? Okay, ana ha. Tanawa ko niyo. So, tanawa o. Kani siya. O, unsa kahay? Kana naka-highlight na ko o blue. What will happen ko So, magsikog imagine. So, I have to rename each of this. Kada usa. So that, mag-classify na ko properly. Magraduhan na ko properly. Di ba? Oh, dia pa si Lester o oh, balik balik do hapon ka book submit ni Dudong Lester. So oh, si Dudong James po balik do hapon ka book. Bibo kay yung life na to ani. Eh. Dia pa si Ella May. Oh, balik do hapon ka book. Agaray. Okay? Kadong og romo sa balihibos kong ilong na napalid dinig ginhawa nako. Dia pa kini pod kini pong uban wala pod ni sila nagsunod it's like this because i just typed in the the course and year kay kabalo na man ko unsa nga subject i just typed in the course and year the output number and the last names 
So, these people, wala po ni sila yung sunod. So, I just type this one. Ay, uban nga. Wala yun. Di yun mao. Mga file name. O, di apa. Lopez pati mga katulog. Huwag isabitan. O, ah, output to day ni. Output one, output. O, di apa. O, otro po ni. O, si Chinilo. Si Mualong. And so on. Okay? Napaidaghan. And so on and so forth. Okay? So, I... Final output kung kinsa mo gudin trabaho. Tanan to final output. Let's see. Kinsa ni final output. Ah, kang jelly kumaling. Final output niya ang output number one. Oh, dapat usa. Kini kang jelly. Okay. Ayaw tang tanga niyo ang kwan ha. Ayaw tang tanga to niyo ang table dili sa babaw, di ba? I gave you a table na dili sa babaw kaya para ibutangan siyo ang mga names. Oh, ayaw to tang tanga. That is also purposely indicated there to make our lives a little bit easier. Karon, ako nang pangitao na ni Anso o nag-uban pa. Okay, Jelly? Ha? Okay, close ko na yun. Ala, utangan pa muna ko output 3, no? Nga rin nag-submit ninyo ang output 3. Supposed to be, the deadline for output 3 is last Friday, right? Sakto ba? Sakto ba? It was last Friday, no? Tanaw na ito kasi nag-submit o output 3. Wala pa ko nang download. Let me see my inbox. Mga diyan na yung nag-submit di ay. Wala pa na ako na-download. Napoy uban. So, sa BSA 2 ni siya. Pakyaw po. Submit o outputs 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, tag one week na ba yan? Ito ang due. Okay? So, tag one week, one week lang. So, no, di na ginagawa ko daw ito. Wala na ginagawa ko daw ito. Impact show yun mo. Yes, last Friday. Okay, so last Friday, output 3. So, I will be giving another task today which will be due next Tuesday na po. Okay, so, by the way, 40 na ta. So, katong bago pa may join, join na lang mo dito. Okay? Okay? Now, like I said, it's okay ha. I'm not checking the attendance. Pero mo na lang niya kung tuturon nga schedule na to. So, mutuod ko Tuesdays between 9 to 11 in the morning. Since a live nga session on Facebook is automatically saved man for those nga wala gyo chance to go online during this schedule, you can watch it anytime na po sa inyo ha. Also, ang outputs po din nyo, okay, you can work on it any time of the week. So, I'm trying my best to give you a flexible setup considering not all of you have access to phones, na ay uban po nga, na ad po'y telepono, wala po'y load, na po'y uban na ay, na ay load, wala po'y data, ay nga na gani, or why signal sa ilang area. So, siya ro sa usang simana, o di jud mo kapangita o pagi. Okay? So, one week, I think, makapangita, ragyod mo ang pagi. Alright? So, we're done. Again, ha, ang instructions na to, I've been reiterating our instructions. Siguro, more than five times na ako nag-iiskutan sa inyo, ha? So, hopefully, next time, sa inyo, next batch of outputs, I will expect na you will be giving me your outputs following the instructions that I gave. Okay, so third year naman mo. Kung BSA 3A mo, please put BSA 3A. Kung 3B, 3B put mo and so on. Ha? So, padayin na ta sa atong lesson. Okay. Ang ako ang gi-assign ninyo last time, I asked you, kung saan to? I don't know if I can still remember. What's output 3? This one. Morning task na ako niyo. Explain the geography and climate of the Philippines. Amo ni ako yung discuss karon niyo, okay? So after you explaining it to me, sa inyong outputs, awal na ha. After the session nato today, I will not accepting output three na, 
Uh, zero na mo for output 3. Kaya supposed to be buhaton ninyo daan before na po i-discuss. Maro-maro, si sir ba? Kaya karon pwede. Katong nagtuon yun, ah, di na mo pwede, pwede na mo di maminaw na for this time. So basically, we, we will try to answer this question. Nung sa mandayang ato ang geography of climate sa Philippines. Okay. Sige. So good ta. Google Earth image. Mindot ba yun online, no? Dali, rakayo. So this is basically an image sa Google Earth. That's the Earth. You can see the Philippines. So, ang Philippines basically is located near siya sa tropics. Asa man ang tropics? Ang sumay but basabot sa tropics. Duol sa equator. Okay. Um, naman na siya lines, horizontal lines, gani nga nag-circle around the Earth. Those are latitude. So, duol rata sa equator. Ang geography nato is, we are basically composed of daghan kayo nga islands sige answer ko na mo og pila ka book islands na hibawan ninyo last i-type sa comment pag uh, elementary na ko sa Sibika is 7107 islands sakto tanoy 7107 islands sa Sibika pag elementary sa una oh so elementary na mo sa una ni Sir Badge ninyo na po dire kay nag hold po ni sila og classes kay nag share mi og group there are 7100 islands 107 islands pag uh, 1980s karon i expect mas daghan na ron kinabe mga isla nga wala pa na discovery onya i'm kami po tigulang tigulang naman me idol to na mo si kisa ra tong Idili si Riveron. <laughs> si nasawa ni Aga Mulak ba? Christine Gonzalez. Appeal to siya Miss Universe. One of the questions sa iyaha was how many islands kuno ang nasa Pilipinas? Ang iyang tubag is high tide or low tide. Nangutan na siya. Sa pa, ang number of islands sa Philippines di ay mausab kung taob o mausab kung hunas. During that time, I think she answered 1990s man to siya nga, nga Miss Universe nga candidate. She answered like 7,106 kung high tide and then 7,107 kung low tide. Karon, 1990s pa man yun to. Pila namang kabuok. Be, sige ko na, paningog mo sa comments be. You answer your, you give me your guests sa pila kabuok island sa Philippines. So, we are composed of islands. I will expect sa comments ha, your, the number 7,641 ingon si Fatima. Moy pag-google ni Hinday Pat. Ayaw na lang mong answer kay wala na. Nagdaog na. 7,641. Maupon niya akong last nga nag-google. According to Wika. Oh, siga ang mata ni Sir Bad. Sinyo, 641. Sa, sa una, it's 7,107. 103. 103. Oh, karon it's 7,000. 641. So, wala pa siguro ipaan ni Day. O, oh, di na. Mo, Nag-google pa mo ng delayed kay mong mga reaction. Oh. That's good. That's good. So, within your fingertips. 7,164. Ingon si Jonali. Ah, pataka ding type na si Piat. Copy-paste ki gamitan yung 7,164. So, mo rin ni i-rumble ni 7,100. <laughs> 7,641. There is a a short delay, ha? Okay. 7641. As of kaganiha, I just look it up. 7641. Wiki is, yeah. Hindi ko ni kasaligan si Wiki, but at least we got a reference nga. It's very accessible accessible for for all of us. Okay. Padayon ko. As you can see here, Pilipinas, near the tropics, dool kayo ta sa equator. Okay, ang equator is kaning horizontal line di ba nga naa sa center sa Earth. That is zero latitude. Na ko ilaing map din hey, that I can show you. This one for example. Uh, so, kini 6 degrees north. So, ang pinakaubos nga part sa Philippines is around 5 degrees north. So, ang zero degrees north mo na ng equator. So, naata nagbatog ta sa equator from around 5 degrees north. Kani akong kita na, ha? Hindi naman, dire. Kini nga line is about 5 degrees north. Taman. 
taman around if that's 18 19 20 let's say around 21 degrees north so the philippines is located about five degrees north to 21 degrees north latitude niya nata sa asia mo ni kuno nga ang circumstances na to culturally speaking na ako yung wiki entry din hing na giabrihan uh, i'd like to show it to you um, territorial maps of philippines okay this one i want to show this to you wikipedia kine ah uh, the philippines the philippine archipelago lies in southeast asia in a position that has led to itself becoming a cultural crossroads a place where malays hindus arabs chinese spaniards americans and others had interacted to forge a unique cultural and racial blend in short saksak sinagol the dres pilipinas nga wala nay atua a little bit of everything there are oh, ang number 7641 islands about okay say source ani this is the source namria discovers 400 to 500 new islands in the philippines if i click that one number six if i click this one it should open another ah uh, ang balita ra ni nila online pod kini so this is interferometric synthetic aperture radar ang gigamit if sir discovered 400 to 500 new islands so original count of 7107 dili na na mao nahimo na og na loading content oh oh si bautista naman eh ah basta mao na to okay sige padayon ta so karon okay we are composed of islands unya basically naata sa tunga tunga and at the same time gisudlan pa gitagdaghan kay dagat okay so if we try to look at the northern part dagat dire north south west eastern part ang pacific na to puro dagat especially sa visayas puro dagat okay gipalibutan tag dagat that is why kuno nga ang Ang geography na to archipelagic ta in nature. So archipelago, we are composed of different islands. And then we are located in Southeast Asia, near the tropics, surrounded by dagat. Even sa sulod, dagat lang gihapon. That is why ang ato ang klima ko no, is marine. So partly, is marine ang climate na to is naka-influence naka ya. So let me show you a... Kini... Pagasa, oh. it threads here. Uh, the climate of the Philippines is tropical and mar maritime. Okay, so marine. So, ang influence atong klima is basically that of our location or geography. Nga naa sa tropics. Mo na nga tropical. Kay we are located around five to twenty-one degrees north latitude. And then it's also influenced by the dagat because we are surrounded and in fact na apag yun sa sulod mismo daghay dagat. That's why ang ang climate na to is tropical and maritime at the same time. Characterized kono by relatively high temperatures, high humidity, and abundant rainfall. Tag as nga temperatures in it. Humidity kanang kabasaon sa hangin, okay? Kanang pagkaigang o rainfall. It is similar in many respects sa climate kuno sa Central US or Central America dili US kay obli na appeal sa United States. Temperature, humidity and rainfall which are discussed here under are the most important elements of the country's weather and climate. Anyway, if I may re read to you. Kani sa temperature on sa may profile sa temperature sa Philippines. Um, annual temperature average this is the average, ha? Wailabut Bagyo, 26.6 degrees Celsius. Okay? That's the annual average. So, kung kuwana itong average ang year-round, Wailabut Bagyo, 
it's 26. Then, the coolest months fall in January. Ang mean temperature sa January is about 25.5. Pinakabug daw na. And then, ang pinakainit occurs in May. Pinakainit occurs in May with a mean temperature of about 28. So, typically, ang temperature na to sa whole of the Philippines, okay, is about Ogting tug now, mo average og 25, more or less. Ogting init, mo average og 28. So, gamay ra kayo play. Dili kayo init, di kayo tug now. So, siguro, lowest temperatures might be somewhere. Kaya average naman ni siyang 25 in, in January. Maybe lowest temperatures, way labot sa elevated areas, of course. Around 23 lang siguro. Pinakainit po nas mga 30-32. Average niya. And this average is, by the way, for the last, kung ano siya. Uh, for the last 30 or 50 years. Depende sa data. But this is bagong pag-asa. Normally, na may term nga, nga climate normals. So, when we say climate normal, uh, for 30 years na siya. Na ako'y mapa din he based on this one is 1951 to 2010. So, this is more than 50 years. Okay? 60 years, ganis yeah kining data pagpagawas nila sa climate map okay padayon ta but typically kana mga average values for the last 30 years na at least dayon significant factor daw in the variation of temperature okay latitude is not as is an insignificant latitude Meaning, on sa mga latitude, katong location na to, o nabata sa north, nabata sa south, uh, going back this one, di ba? That's, this is the latitude value. So, kini, ang Batanes areas, kini mga islands din, he, dool siya sa 20 degrees north. Ang Mindanao Pond area, dool siya sa 5 degrees south. Meaning, kini ang mga area, tawi-tawi, dool siya sa 5 degrees south. Meaning, mas dool siya sa equator. We would expect mas dool sa equator, mas init, mas layo sa equator, kini nga part din niya, mas layo sa equator, mas bugnaw. Pero according to ni Pag-asa, ang latitude is not a significant factor in the variation of temperature. Instead ko no, ang altitude shows greater contrast. Okay? Mean annual temperature of Baguio with an elevation of 1,500. Look at that. 1,500 meters is about 18 degrees Celsius. No, na ala na. So, ang temperatura sa Baguio is pare-pareha dito sa temperate areas. Okay. Mean, the difference between the mean annual temperature of the southernmost station in Samuanga and that of the northernmost station in Lawag is insignificant. Oh, so, wala halos difference. In other words, there is essentially no difference in the mean annual temperature of places in Luzon, Visayas, or Mindanao. Okay? Humidity, kabasaon sa hangin. Moisture content of the atmosphere due to high temperature and surrounding bodies of water. Okay? Ang ato ang RH is normally taas. So, average monthly relative humidity mauna. Between 70, 71% in March and 85% in September. Those are the average values. The combination of warm temperature and high relative humidity and uh, high absolute humidity gives rise to high sensible temperature throughout the archipelago. Mauning gi tawag nga makitaan ninyo sa TV gane nga mayingon sila nga feels like or sometimes they call it the Usahay heat index. Sometimes they call it a heat index. So this is not the actual temperature. Actual temperature may just be 28 degrees Celsius, pero you would it, it would feel like it's 35 because of the humidity at us. Okay? Uncomfortable kuno siya March to May. Okay? Nga taas ang temperature at the same time in humidity. Okay, rainfall. Ulan main form of precipitation sa Philippines. Okay? 
uh, distribution varies from one region to another depending upon the direction of the moisture bearing winds and mountain systems okay if i may later on when i discuss this one you would notice nga ang climate types nato is basically dictated by the rainfall and it has something to do with our location left to right or from west to east so you would notice this is a different climate type this is a different climate type and this is a different climate type so generally from from north to south sa philippines north to south wala kaayoy difference on the climate instead kining from left to right or from west to east do na differences sa type sa climate i will explain that one later again so okay rainfall ko no mean annual rainfall of the rainfall of the philippines varies from 965 to 4,064 millimeters annually. Meaning, in one year, accumulated rainfall niha, ang kalawm sa, sa ulan, kung tayo gitigom, kalawmon, wala ta nagisgot og area. You can look at this as a volume kung ato ni siya o i-multiply sa total area nga na-covered sa ulan. So, kalawmon lang. Okay? Think of, think of a uh, kabo we put outside. Unya, muula, mag-ulan. Onya, siyempre, masudlan tong kabo. Okay? Ang area sa kabo is katong ba, ba sa kabo. Ang height sa ulan is ugun sa kalaw matong tubig ulan nga natigom sa kabo. Does that make sense? Diba? Sabtan ra? Siyempre, o gamay imong ba, ba, butilya imong ibutang against sa kabo, dugay gito ma, ma, masudlan tong butilya kapag gamay ra mag ba, ba. So, kato siya nga, ang area ato is just the ba, ba of the battle. So, think of an area nga dito dito think of a baril Naon sa area sa baba mo, po area sa ubo sa yung anak, bali. O niya, kay wala man tayo baril nga dako kayo, we just measure the height of rainfall. <coughs> tayo yun, i-multiply lang nato na sa Tibuok area o kung sa'yo na-cover niya. So, ang pinaka-simple na pag-measure sa rainfall is in terms of height. So, kini, it varies. Annual ni ha, gi-add ni sa sulod o sa katuig. That's from January 1 up to katapusan sa December Average ni for 30 years, kaya po, 965 ang pinakaubos millimeters to 4,000 <coughs> excuse me to 4,064 millimeters annually. <coughs> Karat na kututunlan. Now, what does this mean? Napa ba mo? Let me see. There are 38 nagkagamay, nagkagamay ang nananaw. There are 38 of you. So you can find it. Kani, kani. 37 na lang. Na drop na ang uban. So. Meaning, ang total rainfall sa pinakatagas o rainfall nga parts sa Philippines. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Basing COVID na ni. <coughs> Muabot ang 4 meters di ay accumulated ni. This is good for one year. So na ay ulan-ulan kada adlaw i-add na i-add every day syempre do na magpoy adlaw nga walay ulan <coughs> nagkanta mag example nga nga extreme this is for 4 meters of rainfall good for 1 year okay i think you may have heard of the event that happened in in Ormoc in 1992 i think katong bagyong uring unya na ay flash flood sa Ormoc Okay. The past three days did to me total ang rainfall of around three meters for the past three days. So that's 300 millimeters, uh, centimeters. Kani, usa ka tuig ni accumulated 4,000 millimeters. Kanto, tulo ka adlaw, abot na siya og 3,000 millimeters in that particular area. Moto nag flash flood hibigay na imo rag dam ko na dito sa babaw nga hibigay. That was a lot of rainfall nga murag record high gito siya for the past 3 days. Ang ulan namtoy bagyo, wala ihangin nga bagyo na ibagyong uring. Si uring unya. Ang rainfall niya was very high. Moto it reached around 300 centimeters in in 3 days time. 
about ang timing nga dihay baha okay Baguio City Eastern Samar and Eastern Surigao received the greatest amount of rainfall while the southern portion of Cotabato receives the least amount of rain okay Gen the average annual rainfall is this is a uh, Jensen around around 1 meter 978 millimeters yung sam nila pagsukod well na akin siya ang climate map mo niya kung ipakita ka ganiha na ay mga rain gauges doon na tayong mga stations so there are around mga 52 I think synoptic stations around the Philippines uh, doon na po yung agrometeorological stations and they are gathering data every day measuring temperature measuring the rainfall measuring the amount of solar radiation and everything then it's been operational since the early 1900s so particular if we talk about Manila Observatory pa panahon pa sa mga Kastila nga diri pa sa tua ang naa sa Ateneo karon Ateneo de Manila na atay observatory diha it's been taking measurements sa panahon for for more than a hundred years na so do natay data dito ang uban nga mga nga mga stations are relatively new so ang katong sa Mactan, nakaadto naman siguro mo sa Mactan, no? Katong sa Mactan, it's, it's called a synoptic station. So, there are around 52 of those synoptic stations nga nagkatag sa Tibuok, Pilipinas. Mauni nga, they were able to describe the climate of the Philippines based on the continuous gathering of data daily na. Okay? So, klima. We talk about seasons. Ano sa may season na to? Using temperature and rainfall as basis, so unlike sa urban countries, in temperate countries, ang season nila dito na is summer winter. Ato a na aratay rainy season o dry season. Okay, can be divided into two major seasons: the rainy season, which happens or occurs June to November. Mona iting ulan. Onya to ang dry season po is from December to May. Okay, and then ang dry season may be subdivided further into the cool dry season from December to February, and the hot dry season from March to May. So duhara tong season dry o wet. Sa una dito sa Leyte kasi kira mo migulan dito sa bye bye. Itawag nila dito ang amo ang season nga duhara pod ang wet season o ang very wet season. Kau ba na nasa sayaw ba nga nahibawaan po na ako? Sa balo mo kung sa'yo nahibawaan ako nga sayaw, i-comment ko na inyo ang tubag. Sayaw nga nahibawaan ni sir. Duhara pod ka klase ng sayaw. Sa sayaw ni sir nuevo. Tingog kids. Be, paningog mo be. Thirty-four na kagamay naman lang ta. Wala pa. Asang uban? Okay. While waiting sa inyo hang kwan. Okay, so again, seasons duha. Again ha, ang rainy season June to November. So right now, napata sa sulod sa rainy season. Dayon, ang dry season is from December to May. And then further, ang dry season is broken down into two: ang cool dry season o ang hot dry season. So, ang cool dry season is December to February. Ang init ng dry season, March to May. Okay, karon. Based on the seasons sa ato sa Philippines, ang atong climate types na himugso. Okay, asa man nakabase, ang climate na to is classified based on the distribution of rainfall. Tanan na to, nana ba ito bag? Tahong ni Joshua Margontin anyong lupa hinubog na sayaw. Tahong ni Carla Agaray di na mao. I'll give you my answer. Uh, sayaw ni sir. Sayaw nga.
Oke. Duhar akong saya, onya na nako istorya tan awan na sa kong comment. Oke, balain ta ha. Based on the distribution sa rainfall, distribution of rainfall. Oke. Upat ka climate types ang na-recognize which are described as follows. Oke. Mau ni siya. Ako pakita on to mo ang description din ni. Ato sa nimba sahon. Basahon sa to. Typhoons have a great influence on the climate and weather conditions of the Philippines. A great portion of the rainfall, humidity and cloudiness are due to the influence of typhoons. They generally originate in the region of the Marianas and Caroline Islands of the Pacific Ocean, which have the same latitudinal location as Mindanao. Their movements follow a northwesterly direction. So, sparing Mindanao from being directly hit by majority of the typhoons that cross the country. This makes the southern Philippines a very dis very desirable for agriculture and industrial development. Yeah, hi, okay, typhoons Mindanao. Sige, we will talk about these seasons. Tapod. Mauna ni siya. Sa tanahon, sa nako tingin nyo ha, mga tubag be. Touch by touch. <laughs> okay, so Awang seasons Type 1 Four types lang ang atong seasons Again, ang season na to has something to do with the rainfall So, kanus ating ulan, kanus a dili Be familiar nga ang Cebu is yellow On sa man nga type ang yellow It's type 3 Please note also Nga ang atong pagpananom Is very related to the seasons na to. Okay, type 1. Na siya sa western coast sa Philippines. Asa kasagaran, atong tanaw, asa kasagaran ang kini magid ang exposo, dire, unahon na to ang type 2 ha, dire, eastern sea. Mo ni gitawag nga eastern seaboard, madungga na to ni pag-asa, which is type 2. No dry season with a very pronounced maximum rain period from December to February. There is not a single dry month. Sige lang gading gabasa. Nindot ni. Minimum monthly rainfall occurs during the period from December to February or from March to May. Mo ni siya ang type 2 ng climate. Now, again, again, balik ta. Nga naman nga yung animan ang climate sa Philippines. Like I said, ang climate sa Philippines is a function of our geography atong location na isgota na to din hidaan nga we are located in the pacific kasagaran ang hangin na to ulan gikan sa pacific okay ang movement sa bagyo padung din ha padung diha siya okay that's why ang eastern seaboard kini nga parts dire kini nga parts moy kulatado kayo sa bagyo ug sa ulan therefore ang seasons na to is affecting that so kini ang eastern seaboard type 2 no dry season <coughs> Major factor po si Habagat o si Amihan. So, kana si Habagat, inikabot ni Habagat. Karon ting Habagat pamanta. Okay? Normally, August na siya. May tabo. Hangtod mga around November. Ting Habagat karon mo na gadala o daghan kay nga ulan diri nga part. Okay? Sa si Eastern Seaboard. Habagat ba? Southwest Monsoon de Gikan na diri Picas. Uy, pataka lang ko Habagat. Amihan de Gikan sa North diri. So, diri Gikan nga hangin. Magdala po na ugdaghang ulan siya bagat. Okay, we go now to type 1. If you've noticed, ang type 1, to as a western coast, part of Palawan, kini nga area, Ilocos, so many, Ilocos, La Union, Ilocos Norte, Pangasinan, Tarlac. Ah, remember, kini nga area din he is ang katong rice bowl sa Philippines. Okay, let's see, ang sanga type. Two pronounced season, dry from November to April and wet during the rest of the year. Maximum rain period is from June to September. So, on sa may nagdikta, aning giling June manggod is um, ang seasons manggod sa Tibuok Kalibutan is broken down as ani mo gani, magsugod taog so, I'm not gonna go on, ha? Uh, para maklaro ninyo. 
ang sa sa ano man siya December January February niya uh, March April May June July August September October November so kining June July August mo ni siya ay summer okay September October November mo ni siya ay fall or autumn Okay, on ya, tony, tony ko ha on dere. Summer, fall, December, January, February, moni siya ang winter. On ya, kini, moni siya ay spring. March, April, May ang spring, June, July, August ang summer. During summer, Okay, ting init naman ni, mo punin ting ulan na to. So actually, in ig summer, June, July, August, mo ni ting ulan hangtod po dire ko to. Nya kini mo dry seasons na to. Kini winter og spring. Sa kuan, kini mga sa temperate countries. Ganon ting ulan man, ah, ting busta kay mo po ni panahon nga musaka ang intertropical convergence zone. So nood na lang ako na i-discuss kita ka na kita iskutanan ana ang ano ting ulan man um, dala sa amihan dala sa habagat nya kini diri napita mo ning timbagyo pud nato no period okay we're talking about the climate ni karon ha okay pakita na pud nako unsa ni gumunhap mo ning kalaki na lang type 2 type 2 kita uh, mo ni ang humana tag discuss dai sa type 2 okay type 3 na asya sa tunga tunga as tunga tunga Type 3, the no very pronounced maximum period with a dry season lasting only from 1 to 3 months. Okay? No very pronounced maximum rain period with a dry season lasting only from 1 to 3 months, either during the period from December to February or from March to May. This type resembles type 1 since it has a short dry season. If you've noticed, interior na siya. So, kaning mga areas po, ng mga natunga-tunga, dili kay ni siya apiktan, apiktuhan sa mga monsoons. Kung man ang monsoon seasons na to, we have the amihan, maugin ni siya yung mga nanggidalaog, ulan, ang amihan o ang habagat. So, seasonal ni siya. Ang amihan is northeast monsoon. So, morning tingtug now, gikan na siya din hinga hangin pa doon dito. So, kini diri mo expose kayo sa northeast monsoon. Ang southwest monsoon, diri po na, tungod po na sa changes sa season sa temperate areas, tungod po na sa pag-shift from, kanang amihan will occur during the winter man na siya. Kini, kini. Mauni siya, kini. December, January, February. Onya, ang ato apong kuan, ang habagat po na to, diri po na, kini po na napita. Kini, actually, August, part of August, magsugod na na ang habagat. So, during summer po na siya. Okay? Asa na to? Balik ko, diri. Ana. And then, finally, ang type 4, rainfall ko no, is more or less evenly distributed dis distributed throughout the year. Yeah, this type resembles type 2 since it has no dry season more or less distributed throughout the year. So, na siya din hinga mga areas. Mga akong giingon ninyo, nga sa kami sa Leyte, naman may dire dapit. Dire may dapit sa Leyte. Ang bye-bye. <coughs> Duha among season. Okay? Wet o very sweet. Very sweet. <laughs> wet o very wet. Pareha sa sweet o very sweet. So, kini nga mga areas. Sige lang yun ang gabasa yung area ha. Adi po good ingon nga kada adlaw ulan na, kung adlaw nga mo init syempre. Pero kung, if we try to compare ito nga sa uban nga mga areas sa Philippines, very pronounced good ang rainfall. So sige lang gaulan. In fact, na ay agrometeorological station nga located sa, sa VSU din hindi dapit. If I may zoom in, makita man ninyo diri mo. Nakanindot ani no? Na diri dapit. Ano yung amo ang lungsod? Taga diri man si Richie Nuevo. Diri dapit ang biska money dire so na din he dapit na ay agrometeorological station na mo dire uh, this is the highway 
somewhere din as ah, itong agromet station ha murag diri as wait wait na ha kay naliban pa ko dinaw katuod ani eh. agromet wait di ara dire hmm. sana to darang mall okay kini oval then mall this is the mall ang agromet station is somewhere diri this one kini siya this is the agrometeorological station here uh, so nako pa na siya ng area so kani nga station mauni nga station ang naka record og 3 meters pag kadtong flash flood sa ormok ang ormok is that's that's VSU Diara okay but the station here was able to record 3 meters of rainfall for the past 3 days din sa ormok ng flash flood Siyempre, wala na kay record din niya. Kipitin naghahanap itong nga, nga igo at itong uh, time. Uh, hurot ila mga records po dito. Okay? So, muna to. Again, 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 again. Going back. Ang ato ang circumstances sa Pilipinas, okay? Ang ato ang climate is basically a function of our geography. We are made up of different islands and we are located din he sa Southeast Asia. Okay, kita gidua-dua antas tadhana. Kabalo ba mo, by the way, nga ang Pilipinas ang pinaka high, second nga pinaka high risk factor nga mamatay ka og natural calamity. Oh, ang first one is ang Vanuatu. Mag-usay mo ba? Nusta, depende. Ang Vanuatu mo ay first, ang second sa Philippines. So, kung di ka mamatay og bagyo, malumos kag baha ba siguro or madatugan ka og linog or di masunugan ka or kung dili labing minus siguro tunglohon kag silingan or mamatay ka sa sige og paabot sa kuan kanang medical services sa atong ospital kagaya iya sa so, perting luya kita sa Pilipinas so, swerte ka ita we are so blessed okay so mao to ang circumstances sa Pilipinas no mo ne ato ang na cover mainly unya how many uh, 57 minutes gusto ko na ko itakol na lang pod partly ang Usapa introduction uh, this one kini readable ra siguro ninyo ato lang ni i run down paspasan ta ni this is not my slide pero ako lang ning i share ninyo ah starting now if you have questions please type in lang sa comments ha okay environmental agricultural science in general ni kay ang ato ang topic karon is unsa to subject this is Kini, kani kani natural resources and na magugoy notes ana. Let me find that one. Syllabus, natural resources and environmental management. Okay, natural resources and environmental management. Right now, we are talking about kani homanisia. Geography and climate. Then identify renewable. Mo ni sunod na tong isgutan. Partly, partly ato ni siyang isgutan karon. Ah, introduction sa environmental and agricultural science. Kini natural resources. Akamo ni ba sa ana? Oi, kabalo na mo ba sa ana? Pwede mi mga yung file sir. Of course, I will be uploading a copy of this. Natural resources, kato resources ka natural. I don't have to explain that one. That's very chicken na sa inyo, ano? People cannot make natural resources. Kina natural ganis siya. Natural resources is essential for living. So example niya, oxygen, water. So natural resources na sa nature. So unsa mo na? Um, kasagaran, we could think of natural resources as ang minerals, no? Especially this time nga. Uh, businesses are interested in minerals. Unya sa una pod pagka elementary na to si Bika pod to gihapon katong we call it yaman lupa o yaman dagat mga ngana. Ba kinom do mo ana kan still remember mga yaman 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 lupa yaman dagat. Oh so these are the different natural resources. So forests in in a way are considered natural resources. Minerals that we can mine are natural resources. 
the air that we breathe are natural resources. Ang tubig, kadagatan, rivers are natural resources. Next. Oh, oh. Uh, eight groups, uh, classifications of natural resources. Wildlife. So this is typically wildlife that we can find on top sa land, terrestrial. Na po yung marine nga wildlife katong naa sa dagat. Yeah, na po yung wildlife, matawag na to na wildlife. Kaya po ang, ang micro, di ba? Ang micro aspect, yung mga microorganisms. The air as another natural resource. Wind. Actually, ako'y pa istoryahon. Like I said, this is not my presentation. Ha? I just I just found this one online. So I thought it's very related to what we are talking right now. So might as well share this to you. Uh, kung ako'y pangutanon, I could classify air and wind as as one category. Pero the author might be referring the air here as the one that we breathe and referring to the wind here as the one that can be tapped for energy and then the soil we are all too familiar with this as agriculture practitioners no then too big the minerals and fossil fuels can be considered as minerals kapon and then sunlight one ang pinaka bahig niya sa natural resources wildlife ah, kasabot na mo ana unsa na you can read that one domestication unsa na chicken kayo plant animal any other thing that lives in the wild. Mona is the living thing. It has not been domesticated. Includes all species that exist in nature, including fungi, flowers, wildflowers, trees, insects, fish, snakes, etc. So both marine or terrestrial wildlife are still wildlife Japan. Domestication kanto ng ato ng gamiton. Pwede na to farm. So daghana na put siya Dayon air akabunay basa bi mixture of gases that surrounds the earth important natural resource all living things must have air to survive and so on wind ah mao lagi ni para na ko like I said I can classify wind and air as one but in this particular presentation ingon ng author nga ang wind kato makaharness to power okay kani ang air katong atong giginhawa Soil. Ina na ko na discuss. You are very familiar with this. Okay. Uh, based on the concept of of sphere, skinning soil is. Let me show you another one. I had another class na gipakita anani. This one I think. Di pa sure ha tanan ko ah. Exams presentations. Okay, kanisha. Ang concept sa environmental science ba? Sphere. We have the atmosphere or ang hangin, uh, hydrosphere or ang tubig. So apil na niya ang oceans or rivers, lithosphere ang land, ang pedosphere that little part na nasa surface sa land is actually the same as sa soil. That's why it's called the pedosphere. Naturally occurring resource. You've covered this one in your other soil subjects. Okay. Then water. I don't have to explain that one. Kailan na mo ana? So part ni siya sa hydrosphere. Oceans and rivers, lakes. Including rainfall, of course. That's still water. Groundwater, apil papod. Okay. Then the different minerals. Amo na nang pang minahon. Mineral siguro sa punto di vista sa agriculture people is katong minerals that we can find in the soil that are needed by crop growth and development. For mining people, probably kanina ang ipangiskutan dere copper, gold, silver, nickel. Nagkagamay na nalagi ito. Banchais na lang kabuk. Where are the others? Then fossil fuels. Ako lang i-share later. Paspasanta lang niya. Sunlight, kabalo na mo ana ay renewability is a concept, meaning it can be restored. Natural resource, renewable natural resources can be replaced when used. Then katong non-renewable, mahurot na yun siya. Could cannot be replaced, no? 
it can be reused. So, na example, ito minerals or fossil fuels yang is gutan. Exhaustibility, the concept nga mahurut siya. Others can be replenished, others cannot be. So, if, we're, if we are talking about natural resources, na yung concept nga ma-exhaust. Na po yung resources nga dili mahurut. So, actually, ang sunlight mahurut na eventually, but we're talking about millions or even billions of years pa. Pero di gin siya mahurut. Ang tubig, di po gin siya mahurut. Okay, kaya nag-cycle raman, nag-tuyok-tuyok raman. Exhaustible ng mga natural resources, minerals, fossil fuels, soils is replaced slowly, non-renewable resource. Ka, no? The concept of conservation, kamo na lang basa na, I'll be sending you pictures of this one. Okay. Then preservation, difference between preservation and conservation. Conservation is we get to use it pero making sure that future uh, generations can still make use of it. Preservation, on the other hand, is dili yun gamiton, pasagdan ra, iprotect lang. Okay? Then, yeah, that's the last slide. Okay? So, if you have questions, if you have questions, uh, ako maning i-post, mag-create ko ani og post afterwards, and then, if you have questions, i-comment lang ang inyohang questions sa sa kada slide. Uh, I will be uploading also a reading material and I will be giving you again um, uh, a, a few tasks nga para po o nga para po sa kuan, para po sa next next session na to. Okay? So, mag bye bye na ko ninyo. Thank you very much so, for staying up with me right now. Uh, kita tabalik Tuesday next week. So, maghatag na lang, mag-upload na lang po kong materials para ninyo. I-end na ako ang video, ha? Bye-bye, guys. O, doon na mo i-comment. Comment lang niya, Ani.